Welcome back to WVHS, episode number five. We're so happy to be here on episode number five. five. You know what I love? Shut up. You know what I love more than episode number five? I love a, a, num- a certain number of questions. Question of the week! Asked. Okay, so we were here at lunch. At lunch. People were eating lunch. We're about to ask some questions. People eating lunch. Hey. Hey, Connor. 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 What's your favorite school lunch? Chicken nugget. Favorite school lunch? The Mandarin chicken that they have. Favorite school lunch? Yes. Okay, it would have to be like the middle school. Uh, it was like, I forget what kind of chicken. It was. Uh, was it Mandarin chicken? Yeah, the Mandarin Someone chicken with rice and the egg roll. And the egg roll? The, yes, okay. that was the best school lunch. I like their salads. Facts. Oh, yeah, hey, that was yeah. different. Man, those really were five questions. Approximately. Approximately. For real. I think that constitutes us going on to the next segment. Not the fifth segment. All right, I'm playing with you guys. I am. I don't. I don't know how to play. All right, bet. I don't even know whose team I'm on. Pretty fish hat. I don't know. I didn't claim I was good at basketball. You just did. You just did. Oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a guy that. Yeah. I don't know whose team I'm on. That was a wet one, buddy. Gang. I just got done shooting some wet threes with the basketball team. Uh, I'm really good. I'm a 6'7 point guard, and I can't wait to play with them again. Shout out to our basketball team. For this week's Teacher Spotlight, I'm going to be interviewing Miss Carver. I heard she's five years old. Hello, I'm here with Miss Carver today, and we are going to be doing an interview. What did you do before you taught? Went to school. <laughs> Actually, a waitress. Where would you go to school at? Uh, Cleveland State in Ohio. What's going on in Ohio? Nothing. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Um, what subjects do you teach? English. What made you decide to teach English? Uh, I'm not any good at science. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite singer? We'll go with Elvis. Elvis it is. Who is your favorite first lady? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, probably Jackie Kennedy. That's a good answer. I like Jackie Kennedy as well. What is your favorite soup? Soup? Yeah. Uh, lobster bisque. That says a lot about you. Does it? No. Like what? If you were on the side of a cliff and on one side was Supreme Leader Xi Jinping and on the other side was ten million dollars and you could only save one, which one are you going to pick? Uh, I'm going for the $10 million. R.I.P. Xi Jinping. (laughs) Thank you. This has been a great episode. She carving out the way, teaching that English, making things straight. Straight from Ohio, came a long way. In the classroom, she giving them grades. She got tips, so she used to be a waitress, giving us answers. I'm so gracious, getting them dubs on a regular basis. She gon' get it, she gon' make it. Favorite first lady is Jacqueline. That's a good answer, satisfactory. She finna get in trouble with the CCP. If they see the video, they after me. What they got going on in Ohio How she survived is a mystery, I don't know It's all burning, think we need to get a fire hose Honestly, I think I'd rather be in Idaho She carving out the way Teaching that English, making things straight Straight from Ohio, came a long way In the classroom, she giving them grades She got tips, said she used to be a waitress Giving us answers, I'm so gracious Getting them dubs on a regular basis She gon' get it, she gon' make it Five breaking news Welcome back to Breaking News. I'm Grayson. And I'm Kristen. What is your favorite flower? Um, I think the pink peonies. They're so cute. Uh, I've never heard of that, but uh, what I've heard of is a 14-pound sunflower. That is crazy, and probably a record or something. Funny you should say that, because 
because uh, it broke the Guinness World Record, actually. Nice. Well, anyway, let's go back to the anchors. Man, for the fifth segment of this episode, I'm very honored to have it be out in the view. It's the fifth segment already? It's the fifth segment. Time Bro, flies. where's the time going? Time flies when you're having fives. I think the time is 5 p.m. I think you're right. Yeah. I think it's 5 past 5. Jabroni. Hey, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I'm going off the rails on the album review. I'm going off the rails. This album going to get reviewed. Man. For this fifth album review, I'm going to be reviewing the fifth album ever made, Die Lit by Playboy Cardi. Die Lit by Playboy Cardi is a mind-expanding, toe-curling, knee-shaking, perspirating, heart-palpitating, stomach-wrenching, eye-burning, hair-falling-out amazing album. I give this album two out of five, out of five, out of five. Dude, I don't even want to be on camera. Dude, no, this, dude, this, this is, is too many. This is six. This is too many. This is too many. Okay, stop.